want to bring it on with some of the email questions that you've submitted. And Gordon, this first one is from Phyllis, who says, I just had a miscarriage on May 5th of this year. It happened so suddenly, and my heart is broken. I just can't get past the sadness. I can't understand why God allows these things to happen. And I wonder, will I see my child someday in heaven? Well, as my heart goes out to you, I know you're grieving, uh, and it's a, it's a terrible grief. Uh, and when I've counseled people that have gone through miscarriages, you just grieve with them, and it's a process, and it's going to take time uh, to go through that. I know and you're trying to answer the question, why? You know, why did this happen? Why, was there something wrong with me? Was there something wrong with the baby? You know, and, and I hear it in, in your question. Why did God allow this to happen? Uh, for me, um, my mother miscarried. Uh, there was a, I, I have an older brother I'm going to meet one day. Um, he was far, far enough along that they actually had a name. They knew the sex and they had, they had the name, James Gordon Robertson. Um, and um, I've counted the months, and if he had gone to full term, uh, I wouldn't be here. So I, I often wonder why, why, why that? Um, I don't think in, on this side of eternity we're going to get that answer. When, when you look at God's great plan, His intent was for us to live in a garden mm. and for everything to be perfect and everything to be provided. That was His plan. And, and we messed that plan up. And in the process... Uh, the Bible says all creation was subject to corruption and that creation literally groans for the revelation of the sons of God. So we all look forward to that day. And in this present reality, there is uh, chance, circumstance. The Bible says time and circumstance happen to us all. The random events, uh, Jesus even spoke to it. He referred specifically to a tower that fell, and, and he said God didn't cause that. Uh, he, he spoke specifically of someone being murdered in the temple by Roman soldiers, and he said God didn't, God didn't cause that. So the, there's a randomness to things, and, and is God sovereign? Yes. Does he have a plan he's working out? That's our hope, and it's a wonderful thing to realize God hasn't given up on that dream, a dream of us with him in a garden, and we're going to enjoy that one day. Jesus said, in this world you'll have trouble, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. So my prayer for you is that you'll have a dream about that reunion with your child. You'll be able to see it and have that hope before you. Wonderful. Got one more? This is Mary who says, I'm having trouble fasting and praying. When I set a date or decide I'll fast tomorrow, when tomorrow shows up, <laughs> I eat instead. I need your help. What should I do? Uh, Mary, join the club. <laughs> I, think, I think there are all kinds of 40-day fasts I've never completed. Uh, don't view fasting as, and, and be careful about making vows to God. Um, but if you're having trouble completing it, uh, forgive yourself for that and say, let's try again, and realize that God is merciful and you dwell in His grace.